Good morning from London again. It is my final day today. Um, I decided I was gonna go to Westfield. I think I mentioned it in the last vlog, but I decided last minute, I thought it's a nice day. The coronations this weekend, let's just go to Buckingham Palace again um, and just have a wander about. I'm getting like a relatively early train, half two. Um, sometimes I like to get a later train so you can kind of enjoy more of the day, but today it is election day for local elections. So I didn't think ahead and thought, oh, I could have done a postal vote. So I'm going back home so I can vote. Otherwise I would have probably stayed an extra day, but I like to vote. Voting is important. So we're doing that. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of wandering through. Uh, um, I think this is either Green Park or St. James. I think it's Green Park. It could be St. James's Park. I will admit, I don't know my London very well. There is a quiet space over there, a welfare space. I really like that they've got these events now. I'm at Star Wars Celebration last month and they had like a similar sort of thing, um, which is really good because like sometimes you do need like time away, especially when the crowds can just be very overwhelming as they will be. Oh look, they are putting new like things up to make the green look a bit nicer, like the red kind of coronation. Um, colours, that's cute. Um, yeah, medical and welfare over there. Oh, let's carry on round here. You can just see the BBC vans there. A little bit. There we go, let's go. This is a sound check. Thank you for your patience while we adjust our levels. This is a sound check. Thank you for your patience while we adjust our levels. This is a sound check. Thank you for your patience while we adjust our levels. This is a sound check. Thank you for your patience while we adjust our levels. This is a sound check. Thank you for your patience while we adjust our levels. So um, you can't just now go through to Buckingham Palace. You have to get round this way. It will just be because people, it, just to kind of minimise the crowds, I imagine. It is, again, quite busy. Lots more people are camping today, definitely. They're currently sound checking. Um, it's, it's quite exciting to kind of like see these things because um, it's kind of like, I mean, it, it's just, it's good. Um, yeah, I do quite like... Um, a festivity. <laughs> so we have finally got round to Buckingham Palace. Um, we just had to go like the extra long way. Um, lots and lots of police and people about, which is fantastic. Great security. Um, I imagine from tomorrow, maybe. They might uh, cut this off to the public altogether. Um, but yeah, it's good to be able to be here so close to when like everything's going on. So yeah, that is that's Buckingham Palace. Behind me we've got the fountain and like uh, you can see like the cameras and stuff. Uh, behind there and then the news, there are more news people here today. Uh, you can see, I don't know how well you can see, I'll get close to the lights over there. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's great to see. Lots of people, Union Jacks, lots of dogs, very cute dogs. Um, but the dog's not wearing Union Jacks, so uh, minus a point for that, but it's good to see um, the dogs. It's been quite fun to kind of experience this. I didn't really come down specifically because of the coronation. I just kind of was like, oh, you know, dog. Um, I can get this time off from work, there was bank holiday, let's just do it. So that's pretty much um, why I did this. Um, my main reason was actually to see Moulin Rouge because I managed to find like row, like the second row, quite cheap. So I was like, oh, let's let's do that. So that's why I came down to London. And it's just kind of like a bonus that the coronation stuff is all going on. It is, it's very impressive and historic to see. If you've never been to London, this is Buckingham Palace. Like this is, you know, the palace yeah um, as you can tell I'm I did do history at a level but I'm not a I'm not a historian so don't know the full history but there are lots of people who do um, but yeah 
this is where we stood yesterday this is where the king came through or uh, in his car uh, yeah, lots of lots of people about. Um, it's relatively quiet, I think, near Buckingham Palace. I think simply because um, it, it was, a, you know, it has kind of walk a long way. It was a bit of a faff to kind of get round to, so that'll kind of be why um, it's slightly quieter. But it is it is still busy, and it is a lot busier as well up the mall too. And it is quite early morning as well. And there you go. This is it. There are the gates. Oh no, he has. Oh my gosh, it says dog save the king on his little collar. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. We've now got the barriers up as well. These went up yesterday. They have done a lot just since yesterday. Um, it, it's very impressive how quick this has kind of all um, come together. Obviously they have had a few months to plan and stuff, but yeah, since yesterday they have done a lot more. Oh, that looks kind of official. I think they're the like maybe BBC or Sky those ones the ones that have the bigger tents i imagine um probably testing the cameras i think we've stopped testing the sound system which is good because it was just on repeat just slightly annoying <laughs> look at this lots of people with cameras lots and lots of big cameras so that one there is sky because you can see a few people with the sky logo on i think that could be itv maybe channel four um just based off the graphics but i don't there's no one with like a logo on so I can't tell.
say the hay fever is very favoring. <laughs> it's, it's been very bad today, I will admit. My nose has just been running and I have no tissues, so this jack is going in the wash as soon as I get home. Um, and the eyes are just like screams. Um, but I've had another really good time in London. Um, I'm just training. Um, get the train from Euston. I hate Euston. I hate the man rush when they announce the platform. But yeah, I've just had such a great time. It's been really great. Um, I will be coming back to London in July. Um, yes, to see Moulin Rouge, but this time in the Can Can seats. So I'm like, I'm super excited for that. It'll be really good. But for now, I'm just ready to go home. Hope you've enjoyed this London series as much as I've enjoyed coming to London and doing it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed like my coronation kind of bits. Um, not staying for the coronation just because it would just be so unbelievably busy. Um, it's busy enough today but yeah thank you so much for watching these videos. I hope you've enjoyed them. Here is London just Buckingham Palace is just behind me there um, where all the action is going to be taking place on Saturday the 6th of May for King Charles coronation. And yeah um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. That would be super super cool and hope you have a great day.